inspiration is is just like observation for me. You know, I I I'm moving through this world and I I see it and I interact with it. And then this stuff is just me kind of translating that. You can you can create an image and clearly explain an entire like an entire world of thought and feeling and you can you know create characters and situations all in this one flat moment um, and that's something that is much easier for me to to get my head around than say writing a play you know there's different levels in in my current work and so there are, you can look at something that I've done hopefully and be like okay I can understand like the main idea of it but then you know there's definite like there's references to popular culture and then there there are art historical references you know, early Christian work is something that I'm really fascinated by um, and so there's definitely different layers of accessibility it doesn't make any sense to like to limit yourself to one medium because like the creative expression is going to come out in a ton of different ways. What's cool about collage is you can make a narrative pretty easily. Like I can combine these figures and try to say something with them. Um, and I didn't make all these images, but I'm able to like put them in a new context. When I'm working, I'm I'm thinking about on like a strictly visual level, color, mostly before anything else, um, just can't, I can just like get lost in it. This is where I usually start projects. I've got salvaged canvas frames, um, yeah. <coughs> um, this was a bed sheet that's now going to be a giant sexy painting. I try to let my impulses take charge when I'm working, um, at, at least most of the time. There, there, there's a time and a place for like being much more methodical, but I, we don't give like our impulses enough time to just like go off and play. I'm looking at current events and then sourcing you know older older works of art and using that to kind of make a comparison between historical events and what we're facing now. I guess that right there is like what I'm trying to work on is like showing that like even though there's crazy terrible like unthinkable atrocities going on every day around us like by really terrible powerful people like there's still this like resilience that just isn't going to give up and I think that's really pretty <laughs> and colorful <laughs>